Hey empath, welcome to another weekly flavor of fuckery weeding. Um, this week we're looking at May the 22nd to the 28th. It's the first full week of Gemini season. And um, I'm trying to think, we are, the sun is finishing up with the gate eight and then it's gonna transit the gate 20 this week which is about, it's called contemplation. So we're basically going from contemplating the superficial and focusing on the superficial and the power of, you know, lighthearted, small, you know, narrow focus things and diving deeper, 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 right? So whatever concept, whatever subject, whatever dilemma has been pulled to the surface for you with this um, most recent eclipse, it's going to you're most likely going to see a development of the way that you are interacting with that idea, the way that you are conceptualizing it over this week. So I'm going to pull an overall card. We got two. <laughs> We got two. So one is the Woodwives, one that we've gotten recently. And that is number 64, reducing to a one. And this is Joyful Muse, which is very, it's probably the silliest card in this whole deck. Um, <laughs> it's a 33. adaptability and inspiration. So what I see is this energy starting to culminate into inspiration, ideas, things that you're ready to, to take action on and it's inspired action. So it's time to start on those things that you've been um, focused on, right? So we're still closing out this Mercury retrograde this week, but I feel that this energy is, it's adding anticipation and excitement towards a, a new beginning, towards um, either a new project or a new way of approaching something that you have been dealing with for a while. So this contemplation, it's not just about thinking on something. You're thinking on it and it's building up the anticipation to want to do something. It's like realizing that you've had it all wrong and, and wanting to go at it from a way that makes more sense now that you have more pieces of the puzzle and more information. Sunday's card is, ooh, King of Wands in the reverse. All right. Monday is Five of Swords. Tuesday, Emperor. Wednesday, ooh, Empress in the reverse. Thursday, Nine of Pentacles. Friday, Five of Cups, and Saturday, Page of Cups, reversed. All right. So what I see with this, it's like, diving into something, uh, I don't know, I'm getting, I don't want to say a petty vibe, but it's like, maybe it's from the, 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 the superficial aspect of the contemplation energy where you're looking at something that you see as just a superficial indulgence or a lighthearted dalliance or um, just nosiness, you know, and you're looking at it for entertainment's sake. But the more you look at it, the harder you look at it, the more you start to take it to heart and the deeper it gets and the more important to you it becomes because you realize 
why you were drawn to it, what it was about the situation that has piqued your interest, and it goes deeper. It starts to get really deep in comparison to what you initially thought that it was. Um, again, anytime my girl, the Empress is upside down, that makes me feel like there is a, a imbalance. We've got the Emperor followed by the Empress upside down. So that is like, it's very heavily analytical, very heavily um, stressing the, the rigid lines of things, the black and white of things. And what you're not seeing is this joyful muse inspiration card this doesn't come in until later probably mm, saturday with this disorganized page of cups energy upside down it's like oh it's, it's like a missed opportunity a missed opportunity to see the depth and to garner the the lesson and the the power from what's there for you because you don't see it as being for you because again you were looking in at someone else's story so this this could be a a pop you know story in the the news you know something with celebrity celebrity gossip or it could be um the neighbors it could be people at work somebody is going through something you know generally publicly or publicly from your your standpoint and you watching this you don't feel like it involves you or like it concerns you or like it has anything to do with you however the deeper you look the the farther into it you look the more you'll begin to be inspired by it i like this i really like this on the surface it looks kind of yuck um but what's deeper is very valuable so once you allow yourself, if you allow yourself to delve deeper into it and look at it, um, kind of like how we used to do as kids, when you watch a show, you would be like, that's me, that's you. You know, that's me, that's you, that's me, that's you. Put yourself into the story. Which one of these characters are you? What would you do in this situation and why? You know, how differently would you see this if it was you? Would you be interpreting it the way that they are? If not, why? Is it because of the way that you were raised? Is it because of, you know, co different cultures, different, you know, what is it about this situation that you can internalize and personalize and look at it, you know, keep it, keeping it lighthearted enough that you're able to kind of play with the concepts that are being presented to you and not get all bound up in politics or you know seriousness of it all because it's being presented to you from afar you know that's why it's being presented to you from afar that's why from a superficial stance you just kind of like oh that's tea you know <laughs> instead of being like oh those poor people you know it, you're you're kind of able to detach from it and look at it and then slowly zoom in in a way that can literally enrich you there's something there that's going to benefit you maybe in the recent future or later on down the line um but yeah definitely whew, i would say for those who watch this video before wednesday so that's what, 22, 23, 24, 25. Anybody that is watching this before the 25th. You have an advantage over the situation because we are actually looking into this ahead of time. And that's where that, that Woodwives adaptability energy is coming in. 
it's giving you a bird's eye view of something that, again, it doesn't literally affect you. But if you sit and contemplate on it, you can allow it to get in in a safe way that you will be able to garner something. I don't even know if garner is the right word for that. You'll be able to, to extract <laughs> something from it that will be like a pearl of wisdom. That's going to help you and people who are influenced by you. My eye keeps being drawn to this giant Mars that the Emperor is sitting on. He's using it as a throne. And I'm wondering if there's maybe a Mars transit this week. Hmm. Definitely is like a thought versus action. Contemplation versus application kind of energy and oh, I don't see anything that's saying it's time to act <laughs> and again with this being in a you know a Mercury retrograde if it's a new thing which I feel like it definitely is like once you figure out what the story is that I'm talking about with the the people that you're watching um something about that is going to inspire something in you that's going to be new and you're going to want to act on it right then and it's going to be really important to um, utilize your strategy and authority for whatever human design type you have and also you know be mindful that it's only a few more days before mercury goes direct and things will start to fall into place for this thing to actually pick up the way that it should all right, so I'm going to pull a chakra card and I'm going to let you guys go. Ooh. Willing release. That's a crown chakra card. So that is a surrender and with these being dandelion seeds that are being released you know it's releasing a new beginning Somebody's going to get a message from an ancestor or ancestors. I want to say on the 23rd, that's Monday. This card reduces to four, but something, oh man. Anyway, <laughs> um, intuition, the wind, the gate of the now, the 20, This there's a lot here. But what I'm getting is a very, very clear message coming in from the ancestors. This, oh, on the 23rd. All right. <laughs> So that is what I have for you guys for this week. I feel like it is going to be dynamic, but in a good way, like maybe a, um, a break from the chaotic energy that we've been under and more um, constructive energy where you start to feel like you're seeing how things are going to come together for you. All right, it's not actually happening yet, but you feel it. You feel it and you're aware of it and you're able to hold on to that vibration a little stronger. And again, <laughs> joyful muse, man. Maybe that's that, that messenger that we see on the 23rd. 
maybe it's it's a um a joy guide or a silly ancestor <laughs> bye now